Now, one of the features on Windows 10 is the ability to use the Windows Store. The Windows Store gives users the ability to go out and search in the Microsoft Store to find applications that can either help them do their job or for personal use. So the Windows Store is a great way to find different things for the Windows 10 machine you're on. A lot of IT departments don't like to use the Windows Store. The reason being is a lot of IT departments have policies that state that all software that's going to be on a Windows 10 corporate machine, all software has to be approved by the IT department. The problem with the Windows Store is users can literally just go out to the store, they can download stuff right through the Windows Store and put stuff on the Windows 10 box, even if it hasn't been approved by the IT department. Now, there are two ways that you can turn off the Windows Store. If you're using Windows 10 Enterprise, you can do it through a Active Directory based GPO. You can do it through a site GPO, a domain GPO, or an organizational unit GPO. But you can do it on the domain. The problem that you have is Microsoft in November of 2017 put a patch on everybody's machine where if you're running Windows 10 Professional, you cannot disable the store on Windows 10 Professional through a group policy object on the domain. For Windows 10 Professional Machines, you have to do it actually on the Windows 10 device. So how do you do that? How do you get onto a Windows 10 device and turn off the Windows Store? All right, there's two ways that you can do this. You have to do it through the machine's local policies. There are two ways that you can get to those policies. In the run box, you can type in MMC and hit enter. Now, when you type in MMC and hit enter, it will ask you if you're sure that you want to allow this to run. Once you say yes, you're sure you want it to run, this console will then appear. If you click on file, you can go to add, remove, snap in, and you can choose the local group policy editor. When I say add, I'm going to do my local policies only, my local computer. And at that point, I can go in and I can manipulate the computer policies or the user policies for this machine. Now that's one way you can get to these policies. Another way that you can get to the policies is by running a command to open it up. And it's gpedit.msc. And if you type in gpedit.msc, it brings up the same policy window. Now once you get into the policy window, you can go into administrative templates, go down to the components, go down to the store, right here, open it up, and you can turn off the store application. At that point, you can double click, you can say enable, say OK, and the Windows Store application is now turned off for this box. Now you also have the ability where you can do it on the user side of the configuration. If I go to the user side and click on administrative templates and go to Windows components, again, there's also a store. If I double click on that, the second option here is turn off the Windows Store application. You can hit enable, you say OK, and at that point, the Windows Store would be turned off. Now remember, you can only do this on a Windows 10 professional machine. If you do this to a Windows 10 Enterprise machine and you turn it off through the local policies, they'll still be able to open the store. You have to turn off Windows 10 Enterprise, the store, through a domain-based group policy object. The only ones that you can turn off by using the local policies is the Windows 10 professional machines. So by taking these simple steps, an IT department will have much more flexibility by locking down the Windows Store, thus not allowing your users to download applications that haven't been approved by the IT department.